Hey guys, Greg Denning. Got another great question. Um, and, and this one I put a lot of thought into, thought about a lot, and I know a lot of you are thinking about it. Hey, what about the future? You know, uh, the guy who wrote in said, look, you know, I, I don't want to get strapped into a huge mortgage. I, I just don't want massive debt for all those years. I, I don't want to do that. Uh, you know, and, and is rent just dead money? And, and, and in the future, I'm, you know, when I want to retire, I just, and rent's real expensive, you know, what about that? And so there's that concern there about preparing for the future, about being wise financially. And, and you know, I've given that a lot of thought. But the first thing i got to say, I always feel like I have to give, like, this legal disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor. You, know, don't, you, you have to decide what's best for your family and what works for you. What, what may work for one may not work for another. What may work in one place may not work in another place. You, you just got to do your homework. You got to be wise and think through this. But I want to throw out some options. You know, if you, if you start to think unconventionally, you start seeing options you didn't see before. And one of those was, you know, I, I really think um, that rent can be dead money unless you use it wisely. You know, if you're, if you're renting to get it cheaper uh, so you can sock away some money to buy some land or buy a place, you know, then, then there's a benefit there. And you don't have all those costs of of owning a home because there's a lot of costs that are fix up or whatever else. Um, but you have to do it wise. It has to fit into your plan. And if you're going out having experiences. But let's just throw out some unconventional ideas here. What about owning a home in another country where costs could be significantly cheaper or in another place? Maybe you, you buy a house, you know, out in, out in rural Tennessee or it's just gorgeous and it's just a fraction of what homes cost where you live, maybe. And that's going to be your place. And, and you're paying that one off. And, and while you're not there, if you buy a house, maybe you're renting it out or, or renting out the land or just you know building little by little uh, and, and renting in a cheaper place wherever you are. I'm just throwing out ideas here. There's a big movement for tiny homes uh, where they're, they're getting these, these small houses. And a lot of them are built with recycled material so you can build it for cheap. And if you're a handy guy and you want to get in and do it yourself, even more so, or Cobb. Cobb is picking up, and I've done some work with Cobb. You, know, you build a Cobb home or a tiny home or just just really super downsized where we've, we've, we've gotten this, this idea of just bigger, 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 and it just makes it so expensive, and, and a lot of it's unnecessary. Even with a big family, I'm, we're surprised how, how you know, we can fit into a smaller thing if it's really functional and they have so many cool ideas now where where the bed goes up into the wall and a desk flops out that, that hides under the under the bed and so now it's a it's a during the day it's an office and you flop it down it's a it's a bedroom and so there's all these cool ideas online and there's people living in containers they're taking these old shipping containers painting them up nice and fixing up the inside just decking them out and they're beautiful or taking little cabins and, and people are doing that in the cities now uh, or in the country, I mean, wherever. And they can get land for cheap. They throw a container on there, make it a nice little cabin or, or build a small cabin or buy a cabin kit or do the cob or the tiny house, like I said. You just got to be able to think differently, think a little unconventionally. How can I make this work? Uh, how can I do it a little bit at a time, you know, buy the lot and then, and then pay for the foundation? And, and renting... You know, we've exchanged for rent where we've gone in and I've been able to do some remodeling to get really cheap rent and we set aside money. Um, or like I mentioned earlier, living in another country, it, it can be so cheap. Um, just did an interview this morning and several of the interviews we've done inside Out of Fun Travel, they say the same thing. It's actually cheaper for us to be out on the road traveling than it is to be at home paying in a mortgage. And so if you, if you can go out for years, you know, if you, build, if you build a way to fund travel, you build multiple streams of income and it's location independent, and you can be out on the road uh, for months or for years socking away money. And we know travelers are doing this. You know, they live for $1,500, $2,000 a month with their family, and they live well in a, in a cheap country, and, and they're making fifteen, twenty, thirty thousand dollars 30000 a month. They're just socking it away. A lot of them have nice homes or mortgages that they rent out. So somebody else is covering the mortgage. They're living for super cheap. Again, they're getting ahead. So just just think differently. Think outside of that. Absolutely, you got to prepare for your future. You got you got to get financial savings. You got to get you know we believe in in food storage 
and you know other resources in in gold and silver coins uh, whatever it is you you like that you think are resources that are valuable to have for your family's future by all means do it and maybe in different currencies to hedge and protect yourself you know our ideal and we'll share this with you our ideal would to be have uh, to would be to have land you know a little homestead where we can we can grow food, have a few animals, and have a nice, comfortable home. And we'd like to have that in several countries. And we've already started that process. And, and we're looking at it again. And so for us, that's, that's our ideal. You can buy land for inexpensively. Here in Costa Rica, you know, some of it's just crazy expensive. And depending on your budget, you may come in and throw down a few hundred thousand or a million and, and good to go. Get your little place. Uh, for others, you, you can come in here. You know, there's an hectare here, which is about two acres, two and a half acres. Uh, you can get for about $10,000. So you, you could buy two acres for $10,000, start building your little place or have a container brought in or a, a little home or, or just start building a little bit at a time. You, you can do that, make that happen. And if you can do that in multiple countries, if that's your goal or your dream, then you have a place to go. You have options. And we want to keep traveling, keep enjoying wonderful places that we just love. And that's going to be a great way to do that. And, and who knows what our children will do, but they'll have options. If we've got homes all over and we can keep traveling and they want to go stay in that home for a while, our friends are staying there, and mom's moving there, you know, it just gives you options. So I just want to encourage you to, to think unconventionally. Uh, look at, at some of the new trends. And, and you don't have to fit in the cookie cutter of, you know, go to school, get good grades, get a job, get a huge mortgage, and tie yourself down for the next 30 years. But if that's your path, if that's what you want to do, then do it. Make it happen. Pay it off as fast as you can. Make it work. Rent it out. Buy two or three of them and rent them all out. Whatever it is you're going to do. You know, I know people People that are inside How to Fund Travel. They That's how they funded travel. They went and bought a foreclosed home in a nice place with great rental rates. And they picked up a, a three-bedroom, two-bath house for $40,000. It's so cheap. And they put five or ten thousand in to fix it up, and they rent it out for like twelve hundred bucks a month. I mean, what a great option! And they have four homes now in a close area. They have a property manager taking care of them, and they've got a great income that's totally location independent and almost entirely passive. So there's a lot of options. There's, there's ways to think. Think different city, different location, country. You know, get get out in the country. Uh, go to a different country. Just just think differently and and be wise. But don't be so narrow that you can't see other opportunities that are out there, okay? Let's, let's go out there, make it happen, live your life now, and still prepare for an awesome future and, and make it happen. Reach up.